Well, I did not expect the game to end the way it did. Man, what is it with the Hawks winning close games because of missed field goals by the other team? The Hawks get the win over the LA Rams, 30-29, with a very exciting finish at the end of the game. The Hawks' offense matched the Rams' offense score for score, and running the ball for 160 plus yards on the back of Chris Carson and Russell Wilson. And of course, Russ's scrambling ability. Russell Wilson was the MVP of the game, making the plays when his team was in trouble and making the throws when needed. Wilson went 17 for 23 for 264 yards, 4 touchdowns, and a passer rating of 151.8, the best in the NFL. Chris Carson rebounded after three terrible starts to the season to have a great game in Arizona last week and building off that last night with his, with his 108 yard performance on 27 carries. He also caught the game winning touchdown in the end zone. Tight end Will Disley had four spectacular catches for 81 yards, also had one carry for 7 yards. And tight end Luke Wilson also had a catch that went for a first down. The wide receiver group played well. Tyler Lockett snagged the impossible touchdown catch in the back corner of the end zone in double coverage. David Moore had one catch, but he used his opportunity to use a spin move on cornerback Marcus Peters for a 10-yard touchdown. And the rookie DK Metcalf had two great catches, one going for a 40-yard touchdown. Defensively, the Hawks' front seven looked very improved, stopping LA's run game in the first half completely forcing Jared Goff to throw the ball. After watching the game, the star of the defensive line has to be Puna Ford, who made several tackles for loss. Ziggy Ansah also played great. He did have a penalty on him, but he couldn't help that he like, felt he was stumbling and he fell into the guy. Besides that, he looked great. The pass rush played well at times, but still has room to improve. Jadavion Clowney forced and recovered a fumble off of Todd Gurley to keep LA from scoring. And Tedrick Thompson, T2, made an acrobatic interception that would have sealed the game. Work for some questionable playing calling on the sideline. Slot cornerback Jamar Taylor looked fabulous for what he was asked to do, making a few key pass breakups. Shaquille Griffin played well and almost pulled in his first interception of the season by breaking up a pass late in the fourth quarter. The Hawks will go on the road next week to take on the Cleveland Browns, and hopefully they can get another win. So do you think Seattle can continue this win streak? Leave your thoughts below. If you have any ideas for future movies, be sure to leave them below as well because I'd probably use them. I don't have anything else. And if you like this movie, be sure to... If you enjoyed this movie, be sure to give it a like because it would be make my day make it more exciting. And finally subscribe to add, you know, sub subscribe, that would help me. And hit the notification bell so you get notified about my movies whenever they come out. Thanks.